All right, Eric, can you hear us? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Perfect. All right, sophomore running back Eric Gray is here. Our last player today, hit the raise your hand function and we'll call on you for questions. All right, David Pascal, then Jimmy Himes. Hey, Eric, after going back and looking at the tape, what would you say Georgia did to give your running game such a difficult time this past Saturday? Um, well, it's a big testament to Georgia. They have a great um, front seven. They did a great job. They had a great scheme. And for the most part, they just outplayed us in the second half. And then what kind of roller coaster does it seem like it's been the last couple of weeks when you consider it Missouri, y'all could do no wrong and rush for 232 yards and then minus one? What kind of, I mean, does it seem like it's been kind of a wild ride these last two weeks? I mean, that's kind of how that's kind of how it goes sometimes. You know, you just got to keep going, keep working today in practice. We got to work on that run game, keep it going, and I think we'll get back on track. Thank you. Eric, when you weren't able to run with effectiveness against Georgia, did that frustrate the offense? Um, I don't, I think uh, to be efficient, we have to run the ball efficiently in any game. And when you don't run the ball efficiently, you know, it can kind of, it can kind of mess it up, but I think uh, it was a good testament for us, a good learning uh, curve for us. And you got Kentucky coming up. Uh, I don't know if you've had a chance to watch much of them, but do you feel like with the offensive line that you had that you'll have more success running the football against Kentucky? I still believe our offensive line is one of the best offensive lines in the country, no matter what. So I think we'll definitely have some success running the ball. All right, Nicholas Hill. Yeah, you know, obviously, you know, with, after a difficult game like that, where you really struggle to run the ball, just what are like, what are those first meetings like between the running backs and the offensive line in order to get yourselves back on the same page moving forward to reestablish some, some of the rushing successes you had against Missouri? It, it starts in practice, you know what I'm saying? It starts in going hard in practice, making sure we're all on the same page in practice, make sure we're all going hard so we can see that holes. We're not going against the um, against the ones a lot. So when we're going against scout team, we just got to make sure we're doing everything right and doing everything hard. Brent Hubs and Patrick Brown. Eric, you had eight catches in the game against Georgia. Part of that, I'm sure, was because the running game was not going as well. But do you see that part of your game evolving? And do you see your role in the in the passing game taking on a kind of a different plan moving forward based on what you guys did with, with you guys in the passing game on Saturday? Well, I definitely think in today's game, getting your running back out and uh, catching passes in space is the, is the life of a running back nowadays. And for me to do that and for me to show that I can do that is just helping me improve my game. Eric, you said you still had belief and confidence in, in your offensive line. What have you seen from those guys? How have they kind of reacted to what happened on Saturday? Like I said, it was a it was a learning curve for everyone. Everyone look has to look themselves in the mirror and say, what do I need to do to get better? And those guys have done that. And today we're going to go out and practice and make sure we do all the right things so we make sure that doesn't happen again. Other questions for Eric? Back to Jimmy Himes. Eric, uh, would you like to play in the same backfield with Ty Channel a little bit more? Do you think that would make you guys difficult to defend? I think with us back there, it definitely um, gives the defense a different look on who's getting the ball and who you have to cover. But, you know, I leave all those schemes and all those plays to Coach Chain, and he's the mastermind up there. And do you also think that both you and Ty Chandler are really good pass catchers, whether it's out of the backfield or maybe lining up in the slot, that, that, that you are weapons in that regard? I definitely think we are both weapons outside the game. Like I said, in today's game, you have to be able to catch it out of the backfield to be successful. Austin Price. Eric, you guys had that uh, kind of like uh, scrimmage for the guys that haven't been playing for those young guys uh, on Sunday. Uh, I assume all you vets were out there, you know, just kind of watching that. What what, what did you see from those guys and, and just kind of how much do you try to help those guys? Because I know a year ago you were in that similar type position. Those guys actually went out there and played really hard. I was really proud of them and getting, being able to get out there and play. Um, the running backs, I think, did a great job just going out there and playing. I guess it kind of felt like high school to those guys again, just going out there and playing and showing what they could do. What did you think of uh, – um, 
D back with what? What do you, you know? He's new to the position, but what 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 does he bring? D D. Um, I think he had a good, great scrimmage as well. Um, he's a big guy, big tough runner. It's gonna be hard to bring down. I think he brings that toughness and that hard running to it. Back to Nicholas Hill. Yeah. So Kentucky is a run first offense, very similar to how to what you guys are because of that. This could be a, a shorter game where time of possession is key. Just how do you change your approach as a running back in a game where you know both teams are going to really look to establish you know, the run? It comes down to making plays. When you got the ball, you got to make plays, and you can't you can't leave it all out there on the field. You got to leave it all out there on the field. You can't leave any empty possessions. You got to go out there and make plays when it's needed. Back to Patrick Brown and Jimmy Himes after that. Eric, when you went back and watched the Georgia game, what do you think that, that you and Todd needed to do better? What did you guys do well, uh, running the ball, catching it, pass protection, all those things? Um, we just got to we just gotta all be on the same page. I think it was some runs where we could have busted it for more than we did, but we got to stay true to our track, stay true to our alignment and our assignment, and I think we'll get better at it. Eric, when you struggle offensively like you did against Georgia, does that affect your confidence any? Well, I like to say I'm a confident guy and um, not being able to run the ball isn't going to affect it like that, but you just got to know that you got to keep going, got to keep striving and things will get better. And what do you see out of Kentucky's run defense? I think they have a good run defense. I've uh, watched them. They got a big three, big front three, big front four um, on that defensive line, but I think our offensive line will put them to the test this week. Any other questions for Eric? All right. Thanks, Eric. We appreciate it.